I'm going to uh, uh, quote Karan Johar when uh, you know his remarks about your direction skills. He spoke about lust stories, and he said that you know um, there were these deft pauses, silences, which you managed so well, um, and uh, he he was very. Uh, he said your direction skills were phenomenal and he says that you the sensitivity that you handled it with uh, he was all praised for it so um, how it, did you and it that? what it shows is the generosity of his spirit hmm. because the way he handles sensuality is different and the way you've handled it in last stories is completely hmm. different um, what was your take when you went in into last stories how did you want to depict it no like that it's not like i went in with a plan firstly i wasn't planning to direct anything <laughs> but ashi dua my wonderful producer came to me and said will you do last stories and i was hmm. like are i don't have a story give me a few months if i can come up with a story i'll do it otherwise i won't do it she hmm. said yeah yeah hmm. you'll come up Hmm. And so I was looking for <laughs> I had lust on the mind, looking for lust stories, and you don't want to do just plain lust because it's a little boring. Everybody knows lust, na. Hmm. So I wanted to just uh, mix it with like um, motherhood or something interesting. Hmm. And then I heard this real life story. Hmm. My friend who lives, you know, on her own, who came back one day like this and encountered a situation like this herself. Bye, bye. Yes, huh. yes, bye. Uh, bye. And she. Except there was no conversation. She hmm. put her hand out. The bike put the key. Hmm. Bus khatam kahani. Hmm. But I just was putting myself in that situation, thinking that how do you deal with that situation? I might just run if I run out because oh my god, with the shock you just run out. Hmm. And you know I have this habit. Me and my girlfriends, we all chat on the phone a lot. Hmm. <laughs> you know. Hmm. So if I had been just talking to her, I would just call her back and say, you know, you know what. What happened just now? I would only say, right? Yeah, correct. And then we would discuss it, and then in, I don't know. I just kept imagining this, and it just kept playing out like this. Hmm. I imagined it like this, hmm. and I found even when that my friend narrated that story of the real life anecdote, I found everything is already there in this situation. Hmm. Who is allowed what space? Hmm. Because you know, you may lend your apartment, say, single women in uh, hmm. in urban spaces. Hmm. Um, you know, you may. loan your apartment to your friend yeah you may of course that's with consent mm. and also i didn't want to get into the morality of it you know i found yeah. that a little boring mm. i didn't want to get into the morality of it i felt both are doing so- both are transgressing both are doing something wrong but it's also the class uh, that's different. the main thing yeah that's the main thing mm. because i think it would have been a very different reaction if it uh, had not been if it had not been a buy Hmm. and someone else hmm. what you can get away with by saying hmm. to your bai when tilottama shom says and what a brilliant both women have Absolutely. done such a brilliant performance yeah. and she says it's my word against yours and who will believe you yeah. over me yeah. is something we all know class struggles yes and does she not know how uh, uh, her bai must be living we all know what yeah, chawls yeah. are like in mumbai yeah yeah we know and th- the thing is i knew that yeah. ishitas of the hmm. world would be watching it not the seemas of the world yeah you know so you enter the film with anishita you encounter it from here so you have all the time and space to go <gasps> and get you know your shock and disgust and all out of the way and then you can just complicate that further and then we go into seema's chawl hmm. and then we see how she's living and how many you know when she's lying there there are pair of limbs over here her child <laughs> i don't know how much is visible in that frame <laughs> but because there are many body you can hear some other somebody else yeah. snoring because that's how people live in bombay yeah and also uh, these kind of films uh, it makes you many people i've i've noticed who you know you don't want to face the fact that uh there is something called senior love you don't want to face the yeah. fact that there is a uh, sexuality in older women that yes. there is sexuality in a different strata yeah. you think that uh, f- romance love everything exists in your level of people correct right and to think that uh, your bai has sex is like oh my god but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be right yeah, because we are not humanized huh. no but you know these are very important i wanted to see firstly women can barely who have any class or whatever of society can barely acknowledge their own desires hmm. Hmm. you know yeah. which is why for me like almost the crux of the film is that line when amruta subhash says kyunki mere ko bhi to maza aata tha hmm. that she says that Yeah. is very important for me that tilottama's character says those things to her you know the conversations they have i wanted it to be just said out loud because we you know we have normalized it and we are forgetting we are hu- not we are normalizing it we are not humanizing some people yeah. and that's not right and i wanted her to say teri chaddi tak to mai dhoti hai yeah and we see that visually we yeah. see her hanging out 
lacy lingerie expensive yeah. click here to watch the full episode